Hello and welcome to this Cardia Chain tutorial. My name is Rami and today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a KRC20 token onto the Cardia Chain testnet. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your browser and go to docs.cardiachain.io. Once there, you'll click on tutorials and then KRC20 tokens and then deploying KRC20 token. So the documentation here actually shows you the two prerequisites that are required in order to get started. And so the first is to connect your MetaMask wallet to Cardia Chain mainnet or testnet. And the detailed instructions can be found if you click on this link. The second prerequisite is to have some Kai in your wallet so that you can pay for the transaction fees. Uh, we've also created a tutorial for that. So if you missed it, feel free to go back. Now, as it says in the documentation, deploying a new KRC20 token can be done by using Remix and the ERC20 contract from the Open Zeppelin open source library. The first thing you want to do is head over to remix.ethereum.org. Then you're going to want to create a new contract called krc20.soul and copy the code from the following sample. So we're going to go ahead and copy that now. And we'll head over to remix.ethereum.org. Under contracts, let's go ahead and create a new file. And we'll call it krc20.soul. And we'll paste the sample code that was provided. So a high level overview of what you're looking at is basically a contract that's called my token and it is an ERC20, which means it extends or inherits the ERC20 library, which we have imported from Open Zeppelin here. Now all this particular token does uh, in this simple example is call the constructor with the initial supply, as well as making use of the ERC20 parameters, which is the token name and the token symbol. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to Rami's KRC20 token, and I'm going to call the token Rami. So the function itself just mints the initial supply. And so that'll be good enough for this tutorial. So at this point, what you want to do is head over here, ensure that the contract selected is your contract and hit compile. And so then we'll move over to deploy. And we want to verify that our injected web three is selected as well as our Cardia test account. We'll also want to verify that once again, our token contract is the one selected. Now in order to deploy, we need to provide the initial supply. I'm going to go ahead and create an initial supply for this token of 47 million. So that's 47 million. However, because this value is in we, we need to recognize that there are 18 decimal points. And so I'm going to feed those in now. And now we click deploy. So there's a transaction fee associated with deploying this contract onto the Cardia Chain testnet. We can go ahead and click confirm. And so we can see that the contract was deployed by expanding this here. We can go ahead and retrieve the name. And as we can see, it's called Rami's KRC token, the symbol, the total supply of 47 million. And another thing we can check is we can scroll back up, copy our account and we can get the balance of our particular account. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually add your new token to MetaMask. And so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is actually copy the contract address, then head over to MetaMask, click on import tokens, paste the contract address, the token symbol and decimals will load and we'll click on add custom token and import. We'll go back and now we can see that our token has been added to our MetaMask. Finally, the last thing that I'm actually going to show you is to go to the explore-dev.cardiachain.io. We can also paste our contract address here. We will see that it is recognized by the Cardia Chain testnet. We can click on that link and the token details are provided for us. So that pretty much wraps up how to deploy a KRC20 token onto the Cardia Chain testnet. If you like this video, please feel free to drop us a like and or leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.